For over three and a half years now, Apple has effectively been the tablet king. Last week, the latest addition to its iPad lineup, the iPad Air, was released. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our full review of the Apple iPad Air. Next to older versions of the iPad, it isn't difficult to see where the biggest changes and improvements are with the new iPad Air. Well, a new design for the full-sized iPad lineup. No longer does it have tapered edges, a rear-facing speaker, or the connected volume rocker. Instead, it looks virtually identical to the scaled-down iPad Mini. The edges are rounded, the speakers are located along the bottom edge on each side of the lightning port, and the side bezels have been dramatically trimmed away. Instead of the traditional squared nature of the 4.3 iPads, the iPad Air is actually shaped more like a 16.9 Android tablet. Further, Apple implemented dramatic weight reduction. At 469 grams, it's 28% lighter than the iPad 3 and 4. And at only 7.5 millimeters thick, it's nearly 2 millimeters thinner as well. These changes are impossible to overlook. The iPad Air is unbelievably lightweight. So much so, it almost makes previous models feel crude and inexact. A power tool instead of a scalpel. As minor as weight and size reduction may seem, the importance of each cannot be understated particularly for a device built for little more than portability and convenience. Apple also took the past year to upgrade the iPad's internals and specs. Like the iPad 4, the Air comes equipped with 1GB of RAM, storage capacities ranging from 16 to 128GB, a 5MP camera, and of course, the 9.7-inch Retina display. At 2048 by 1536 pixel resolution, it's incredibly sharp, 264 pixels per inch. And like the two models before it, the display is absolutely gorgeous, providing great colors and saturation, viewing angles, contrast, and black levels. The Air also trades up the A6X chipset for the newer 64-bit A7, and its battery is rated at 32.4 watt hours. Frankly, this is the best iPad hardware to date. Build quality, design, specifications, and the in-hand feel. The level of fit and finish of this specific tablet is second to none. When it comes to software, it's either love or hate. The iPad Air unsurprisingly runs iOS 7 with 64-bit support. And for iOS fans, there's little to complain about. All the new features are present. The fresh UI, control center, the refined notification center, Siri, task switcher, and AirDrop. We've extensively covered iOS 7 already, so for a more detailed look at that, check out our other iOS 7 videos. The sheer amount of quality multimedia and content available to the iPad Air from App Store and iTunes alone is enough to sell the tablet. The digital libraries are virtually endless. Some of the best applications, period, are exclusively available for the iPad, and there's certainly much to be said for that. But in the day and age where Android and Windows tablets have the ability to run multiple applications side by side, we can't help but feel the functionality and utility of the iPad are limited. Despite the fresh appearance, the software is still quite long in the tooth. That said, the multi-touch gestures definitely add some polish to the experience. There's nothing quite like four-finger swiping between recent apps and pinching with five fingers to return home. One area we have literally no complaints, however, is performance. The A7 chipset in the iPad Air is an absolute monster, ready to rip and tear through the most intense tasks you can possibly throw at it. We've been using the iPad Air since Friday morning, and we have yet to slow it down even for an instant. It loads and switches between applications more quickly than previous models. It handles some of the more graphic intensive games such as Asphalt 8 and Infinity Blade 3 with utter ease. Put simply, the iPad Air was built for extreme performance, and it puts the numbers up where it counts. It provided one of the quickest scores we've ever seen from a mobile device in the SunSpider JavaScript test. Apple claims the iPad Air can survive 10 full hours of usage on a single charge, just as all iPads before it. Through our usage, we can confirm the battery life is fantastic, as great if not better than those before it. Even through heavy usage, including gaming, watching videos, and even benchmarking, we were unable to fully deplete the battery in a single day. You'll probably only need to charge the iPad every two days, or even less often if you're lighter on usage. The speakers on the iPad Air aren't the best we've ever heard, but they're definitely not bad. They have a fairly full, balanced sound and are great for practically all multimedia purposes. The main problem is their location. Along the bottom edge, they're quite easy to obstruct with your hand in landscape mode. 
The camera is something we don't harp on too much when it comes to tablets, but the iPad Air's 5 megapixel camera isn't terrible. It doesn't provide a ton of detail, but some images in proper lighting offer balanced, true-to-life color reproduction, decent contrast, and great white balance. It has the tendency to overexpose and miss on autofocus, but it should suffice for many scenarios for both stills and 1080p video. If we take all of this and add it up, what are we left with? Well, between the spectacular performance, top-notch build quality and design, and the endless amount of content, the iPad Air is one of the most well-rounded tablets money can buy. Starting at 499 and scaling up to a staggering 929, the iPad Air isn't exactly the cheapest option. But if you're in need of an endless supply of multimedia, games, apps, and one of the best portable productivity devices, the iPad Air is a no-brainer. Frankly, it's one of the best tablets we've ever laid hands on. And that's why we give the iPad Air a 9.2 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, so if you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by clicking the thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel to see more videos from myself and the rest of the Pocket Now crew. Follow us on all our social places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, you can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.